Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com here with another quick video tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to save effects uh, and use them for later use. Sometimes you might just come up with that great filter that just sounds perfect and you want to be able to come back to it and use it again on later creations or later mixes. Um, Machine allows you to save the effects with the exact parameters so you can recall them at any time. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So to start out, I created two drum loops, uh, just random drum loops that I'm going to use to create two effects. Um, I'm going to just do two filters or two, uh, I don't know, maybe a distortion. Uh, use a machine stock distortion and I'll use uh, maybe a predator uh, effects as well. You can save your custom effects, whether they're machine stock effects or they're VST effects. So let's get right down to it. So first off, I'm going to play this first drum loop for you, and then I'm going to apply the distortion to it. All right, so there you have it, just a quick little four bar loop. So what I'm going to do is I've, I'm on my group setting right here, uh, and, and I'm going to go ahead and just apply an effect I'm gonna apply a distortion so let's hit the distortion and I'm just gonna you know mess with the knobs here you know let's bring up the drive uh, let's bring up the color give some more feedback bring the tone down uh, mess with the release in the mix uh, maybe we'll put a little more in there we're not gonna automate it uh, let's you know bring the tone mod up a little more and now let's hear how that sounds So we could even add a little more into there. All right, so there you got, there you have got a little distortion on there. Now, say you want to save that and you want to use it on something else. You're like, you know, that is the greatest distortion effect ever. And it'd sound great over drum loops. It'll sound great over my samples, sound great over a bass line even. This is how you save it. You come into, you bring, click this drop down arrow, just come all the way down to save as. And now you can save the distortion as whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to name it custom distortion one. And um, you can save it in the folder that it predetermines. So it automatically goes to modules, effects, distortion, bam. Um, I've actually taken the liberty and I have actually set up a custom effects folder. Uh, if I go to modules, effects, bam, Jackson effects, and bam, right there, custom distortion one. We're going to save it and bam, it's in there. So now I'm going to get rid of this distortion here, play the drum loop again. So we got the dry drum loop here. Now, say you want to bring that distortion back, come here, uh, click the first, click the drop down arrow come down to open and it's going to open you up right to your effects uh, your effects folder that you've created customly and here I'm going to create click on custom distortion one and open and there we are now I just want to point out that this can also be done with VST effects I'm going to move over to my second drum loop here and I'm going to play that for you dry So there you go, just a quick little four bar drum loop using the 303 kit from Urban Sprawl at uh, echosoundworks.com. Um, I should also mention that that first uh, drum loop was from the Rockout kit from uh, p5audio.com and the name of that uh, drum, that pack was the Beat Rockers kit. Uh, did reviews on both of those, check them out on machinemasters.com. Anyway, back into the uh, tutorial. Um, now say here I want to put a, a VST effect on it. So I'll go into my plugins, and these are all my plugin effects. So let's uh, use, um, let's go to RP, let's go to Rob Pappin's uh, distortion. Let's try out Rob Pappin's distortion. So as soon, soon as you load it up, it's going to default to whatever its original, uh, its original setting is. So 
So there you go, just a little fun, real funky distortion bit crush thing going on. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and mess with these a little bit. You know, change the knobs and the priests in the settings. Um, you know, just really give it my own thing. And, you know, who knows where we're going to come up. Here, we'll turn the compressor on on this bad boy. So I give it a little bit more, you know, oomph and more punch. Uh, we'll turn the widener off. Bring the high Q up, the high and the high Q, you know, up and down. Mess with that a little. Turn on the EQ, low, high. You know, just really, really tear it up. I mean, you got there's so much you can do with. Uh, oops, there's so much you can do with any of these effects. So let's hear what we got going on now. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty dope. I like that. All right, so same thing. You want to save this? You follow the same exact procedures that you did for the machine. Um, for the machine stock effects, you just come down to save as. Um, we're gonna name that custom, and it's already got my Jackson effects folder open. We're gonna name that custom RP for Rap Happen uh, filter distortion, and save. And there it is. So now I'm gonna close this out we're back to our regular drum loop now i'm going to come to the drop down arrow once again click on open and bam uh where is it custom rp filter distortion and when you open it up it's also going to open up the plugin too so i can bring the plugin right back up So that concludes our, our tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you save effects in Machine for later use. Uh, make sure you check out MachineMasters.com. Uh, sign up for the website. Right now, we are giving away a Machine Studio. Uh, Crisis will be announcing the winner November 4th. Uh, make sure you sign up at MachineMasters.com. Be become a master member, and you too can have a chance to win the new Machine Studio. So that's all I've got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.